have a lot more to talk about. Let's go back down to the stadium. Don Bell and John Ritchie from WIP are outside the Eagles locker room getting all of the players as they come and go. Yeah, they've been getting lots of reaction tonight. They spoke with Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins just a short time ago. Let's take a listen. Thanks, guys, here with Malcolm Jenkins. And your reaction to what just happened out there? Uh, I think that was just a response to everybody who's ever doubted this team, ever talked about how we couldn't do anything, how, who's ever tried to define us off of their own perceptions. They have no idea what we have in this locker room. They have no idea what we have in this city. They have no idea about the individuals in our team. Uh, and I think we just, you know, sent a message to everybody that, you know, we're here, we're serious, and we're here to compete for a world championship. No one expected that thorough a beatdown. <laughs> Did you guys expect that? You know what? As we looked at the matchup, we, we saw the opportunity that, that we could win this game, and, and, and it didn't have to be close. Uh, we got a lot of respect for that team. We understand what their defense is and, and, and what they've been able to do this year. But for us, we, we have so much confidence, and our offense felt good about their matchup. Defensively, we felt good. And so once we got things rolling, they just kept going. And you got our crowd into it, and all of a sudden, you look up, and it's the fourth quarter, and the game is over. I don't know if – on that on that Robinson uh, interception return for a touchdown, you absolutely flat-backed somebody. <laughs> I mean, that – from uh, – it was beautiful. I mean, that level of effort, that, that level of just – I mean, teamwork is something so special. But I feel like that's what you guys do, and, and you lead them in that. I mean, we – I haven't been on a team that's been this tight, to be honest. And – Patrick Robinson actually said before the game, he said, hey, y'all make sure y'all block because if I get a pick, I'm not going out of bounds. Wow, and so wow. when I saw I him get that. it, I'm like, okay, I got a block. And you saw everybody, even Ronald Darby, he got destroyed. <laughs> but he threw his body out there, you know, to get him in the end zone. And, and we all care about each other. We don't care who makes the play. We're just, we just want to make it. And that's what we've done all year. The guys are so unselfish. We, we actually get more excited about other guys making plays than ourselves. Wow. Uh, it's, it's been fun, man. By the way, Ron did get crushed. You got to show that in the film room. Oh, he got in the way. He got, he got in the way, in the way he, enough. He, he did what he had to do. Listen, I want to ask you about your head coach because it's all year long. Doug has been oh, a step ahead of everybody else. What makes him so good? Why is he in a flow the way he is? I think it's just the whole team, man. I think he has a grasp, especially as a young coach, he has a grasp of the locker room. Um, he leads us in a way that we always believe, we always fight, uh, but he gives us enough, enough ownership in it that we feel responsible and, and we feel like we're right next to him. Um, and I think earlier this year he was dealing with, you know, the media questioning whether he was the qualified to be a head coach. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they can eat those words. Uh-uh. <laughs> right. But, uh, I mean, he's, his personality, his fight, his aggressiveness has trickled down into this, into this team and uh, we just follow his lead. Well, hold on. One last question before we let you go because I promise him this will be quick because if people don't know out there, your wife gave birth to your second daughter, your, oh, your wow. second child earlier this week. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so what was this week like for you, and did you get any sleep? You can be honest now. Uh, I slept in the hospital uh, Monday night and Tuesday night, uh, but once everybody got home and practice started up on Wednesday, it was business as usual. You know, it's one of those things that uh, my wife, obviously, she's a soldier, <laughs> and allowed me to get some sleep this week with a newborn uh, in the house. But it was that was one of the best feelings I've had to have them meet me on the field after the game. Uh, she brought my little one, which, <laughs> which is why we had the baby on Tuesday, because she, she wasn't missing the game. But uh, to have wow. both my daughters down there to experience it, man, it's uh, these are times that you don't get back. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And your family. I appreciate it. All right, that's Malcolm Jenkins. Back man. to you guys in the studio.